Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little pouch here that I made. So I made this to hold some crochet hooks that my husband got me for Christmas. And I am just in love with how this turned out. So here it holds all my crochet hooks. I got these super cute little buttons on here. I did a star stitch, double crochet, and the lemon peel stitch. So continue watching to find out how to make this really cute little pouch and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my newest videos coming out. Alright, on this video I'm going to be making the um, pouch that I'm going to carry these in. I got these really beautiful um, crochet hooks for Christmas from my husband, but they didn't come with a pouch or anything, which I'm not disappointed. That means I get the opportunity to make my own. So I've measured them together like this, and they come out to about, oh, ten and a half inches, but I want it to be a bit longer because I want some spaces, you know, in between them. So I'm going to make it about 15 inches long, and then I want it to, if you, I come over here they're about seven inches or so tall somewhere around there yeah a little over seven maybe inches tall so I'm actually gonna make this to about 18 inches tall because I want it a flap that kinda comes over with it so I'm gonna make this to 15 inches wide and then about 18 inches tall and I've got a couple of yarns I'm going to use here. So this is just the big twist yarn. It's the value yarn. And um, it's the pink ombre color. Pink's my favorite color. So um, I love to make everything pink. And this is the big twist though uh, watermelon color yarn. So what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to first start with um, the big twist, the ombre colored yarn. I'm going to move all these hooks out of the way for now. And I'm going to use my five millimeter hook because on the package, what it says is it says you're going, let me see it right here, five millimeter or H hook for this. And it's a medium four weight yarn. So I'm using my five millimeter hook and I'm going to make, I'm just going to get my slip knot. I'm going to make a chain of 15 inches. If you're watching this, please subscribe to my channel, guys. It would really mean the world to me. And I think I finally get this problem figured out with a uh, my uh, camera, the way it's zooming in and out there, I think I figured out that it's um, not having anything in the white background. So after um, I filmed this part, I set it on manual. So it doesn't seem to be doing that anymore, thank goodness, because this was super, super driving me crazy. Let's see here. So this will stretch pretty good to 15 inches. So this is 70 stitches that I have here. So I'm going to make two more. All right, 70 stitches plus two. And you'll see why later. All right, All right so now I'm just going to skip that first single crochet and just, or chain stitch and then single crochet all the way down. All right, so I'm done with my single crochet row. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chain two. 
and then I'm going to turn and then I'm just going to do one row of double crochets now all the way down and I'm starting in that first um, single crochet there so I'm not counting the turning stitch on here does not count as a row remember that guys so the turning stitch um, does not count as a row it's just the turning stitch so now I'm just going to do one row of double crochets all the way down and then when I get to the end I will see you back here people alright so I have made my row of uh, double crochets now and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors so I'm just going to pull this other color through and I have 71 stitches just by the way and that will be important because we're going to be doing a star stitch next and I love just absolutely love the way a star stitch looks guys so what we're going to do is first of all we're going to chain three so one two three and then we're going to turn and now what we're going to do is we're going to work in that second chain from our hook. So we're going to insert our hook. And if you don't know how to do star stitch, I do have a video on that also. So you're just going to insert your hook and pull up a loop. Then you're going to insert your hook in the next chain, pull up a loop. Then you're going to insert your hook in this stitch here. So I'm going to work in the back bump only because I want it to uh, kind of stand out more. So you're going to insert your hook. Pull up a loop so now you have one two three four loops on your hook you're going to go to the next stitch you're going to insert your hook and you're going to pull up a loop this one variated yarn kind of applies a little bit two three four five so there's five you're going to do that one more time so you're going to insert your hook pull up a loop and then you have six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all six on your hook. And now you're going to chain one. And that is your first, the beginning of your first star stitch. This is a little bit. So chain one. And now to do your next part, you're going to work into that space there that you made with your um, chain one. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop there. Then you're going to insert your hook in this space right here. So you're going to insert your hook right here, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then you're going to insert your hook down here in that same space that you had inserted in earlier. So you're going to insert your hook, pull up a loop. So now you have four loops on your hook. Then you're going to insert your hook in the next stitch over, pull up a loop, and then insert your hook in the next stitch over and pull up a loop. So now you have six loops on your hook, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all the loops on your hook and you're going to chain one and you're going to keep that going all the way down. And something to remember here is this is your right side. So this is going to be the side that um, is the correct side to look at. So now we're just going to repeat that process all the way down until we get to our last chain there.
Okay guys, so we're at the end of our row now. So here we go. It's um I made my chain just a little tight there, that's why it's curling, but it'll it'll work its way out. So I'm at the end of the row here and I've got one more stitch left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like I've been doing, so but this is gonna be kind of like a half stitch here. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that. Um, little hole that we made with our chain one, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the stem again of the uh, last stitch we made, pull up a loop, so that's three, insert my hook into uh, the stitch that we just worked into, so that's four, and then insert our hook right here in this last stitch, and that's five. So that's the end of that, and now we're just going to pull through all of those stitches, and we're going to chain and then we're going to turn. So this is the back side of our work, this is the front side of our work. Don't want you to get confused. So we're going to chain one more and then what we're going to do is we're going to work half double crochets now. So we're going to work a half double crochet in the top, right here in the top of this um, stitch that we worked before. So this stitch right here, instead of working in that little chain space, we're going to work in the top of that stitch and we're just going to do one half double crochet there. So do one half double crochet. Oops. Alright, and so this chain space here now, so this space right here that you're looking at, you're going to do two half double crochets in that space. And that's going to be what you do all the way down. So you're just going to do two half double crochets in this space all the way down until you get to the end. And so you're going to skip this and then work into that next um, chain one space that you had before. And again, you're just skipping that, working in that chain one space from before. And you just do that all the way down. Alright, so now I'm at the end again. So again, I'm just going to work one um, half double crochet in the top of that last stitch. And so, actually, what I meant to do here, let me undo that real quick because I need to change colors. I want to change colors. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to that, and then I'm going to cut this pink here. So, you see how that's looking? Isn't that super, super cute, guys? Again, I should have made this a little bit of... Uh, looser but you know it is what it is now all right so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to switch back to my variegated pink again this is the wrong side here and I'm just going to kind of carry this up here so I'm just going to pull it through chain one 
And now what I'm going to do is I am going to do the lemon peel stitch. I really love the lemon peel stitch. So I'm going to do lemon peel stitch. I'm just going to do that back and forth until I get the length that I need here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to do the lemon peel stitch. But I'm going to work again in this back bunk because I want this uh, stitch here to really stand out. So what I'm going to do is, um, if you don't know how to do the lemon peel stitch, I have a video on that and I'll link that in the description. And try to remember to link it above too. So in the first stitch, the back loop, you're going to do a single crochet. In the next stitch, you're going back loop, double crochet and then you repeat so all the way down so single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet and you just keep on repeating that pattern all the way down so everyone repeat that pattern all the way down until you get to the end and when we get to the end I will meet you back there and tell you what to do from there. Alright guys so here I'm at my last stitch here and it's a double crochet so I'm just going to finish doing my double crochet and now I'm going to chain one and turn. And so now I'm going to work one single crochet in the, where we had the double crochets. And I'm going to work through both sides this time, front and back loop. And then one double crochet where we made the single crochets. And I'm going to continue that all the way down. And for the um, lemon pull stitch, this is all you do. So you um, work your single crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. And then when you do your next row, you work opposite. You work the uh, where the single crochet was, then you work a double crochet into it. And where the double crochet was, then you work a single crochet into it. And then when you turn, you'll be doing that on the, the next row too. So you'll be making a single crochet where the double was and a double crochet where the single was. And so guys, this is what I'm going to do all the way down. Um, for the rest of this project. So I'm going to continue to do the lemon peel stitch here until I get to the inches I need and that for me will be 18 inches long guys. So I'm going to continue to do that till I get to the length that I need. So I will see you back here when we're done guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second here to show you how this is looking. I'm actually loving the ombre color here, the pink ombre. I think it's looking really great. I love the double um, crochet here and then the star stitch looks really good and it really kind of stands out which is what I'm looking for and then the uh, the pink ombre the way it's changing colors I'm really loving that so I love the way this is looking so far I hope you guys think this looks just as cool as I do all right guys I got the length that I need so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut my yarn off and I'm going to stitch up the sides so I'm going to do single crochets up the sides you can do probably three per set of two here and I'm gonna go up this way I'm gonna go across and then I'm gonna go back down this other side and just single crochet and then in right here and um, if you want to do this way this is a good way to just crochet over your ends if you don't really want to weave them in also and then after we do that I am going to um, show you what I do next for um, securing them in place so I'm just going to take this um, Yarn. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to take just the solid pink yarn. I think that would be pretty crocheted all the way around. So I'm just going to start in the corner here and insert my hook in a corner as best as I can. It can be a little bit difficult. And you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I may want to go with a little bit smaller of the hook. So let me see what other size. Oh, that's a big size. Don't want that big of a size. I think these got mixed up. They did get mixed up. Look at that. This is, uh, that's a three and a half millimeter. Don't want that small. 
Let's go with our four millimeter hook to go around so just a little bit smaller. We were using our five earlier. So it should fit in there just a little bit better. I'm just going to attach the yarn. We're going to pull it through. And we're just going to do single crochet. Just space it out as evenly as you can. It's not going to really matter all that much. Just as evenly as you can to finish off, to sew this up and finish off the edge here. It'll look like a nice finished edge if we do it this way. And you could even pin it if you really wanted to pin on it in place, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to eye it. So I'm at a spot where I've got an end here, so I'm just going to work right over this little end right here. Alright, so now I'm at the top and I'm going to make three um, single crochets in the top, but I'm going to get the five millimeter hook that I had earlier to do that with. That's a five and a half. It's bad when you can't keep track. Alright. <laughs> and so I'm going to use the same as I had earlier. So three in the corner. And then one in each stitch all the way across. One single crochet each stitch all the way across.
All right, so I'm going to do three single crochets in this corner stitch. Then I'm going to work my way back down the side here. Make sure I line this up here with this side. So this is about right, right there. All right, so I'm going to get my smaller hook again to work in these side. Oops, to work in these side stitches. I might actually pin this one just to keep it kind of in place now so it matches the other side a bit better. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my yarn off here and then I'm going to just fasten it off right like that and I'm going to get my yarn needle Oops. Alright, so this is looking super super cute. I'll probably just pull that through for now and um, so it's going to turn down right like this right here and these will fit in like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in right about where I want them to fit. So so there's one. I might just put them all in there. What do you think? Let's see here. How many stitch markers do I have though? over here. Probably not a huge amount. Two. Or I could do one at a time. Maybe I'll just do one at a time. I don't know. What do you guys think? That one may be a little too tight, I think. So we'll scoot this one over just a hair. Yeah, let's do one at a time. Alright, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to grab some of the original color of yarn that I had. I'm just going to thread this thing right here. And so now I'm just going to kind of stitch it up here, right like this in the middle, so it's not, um, so it'll hold very nicely. So it'll hold the, so it'll hold the crochet hooks nicely. And so there's 12 crochet hooks all in all. I have to fit here. Oops. And 
I do want it to be a little bit tight against them so they don't move too horribly badly. All right. Oops. So I'm just going to take this one out and I'm going to attach my yard yarn on the inside here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through these loops right here. And I'm going to eye it. I'm just going to work my way down, but I'm going to eye it. You could um, put like a string in there so it's 100% straight. But I'm not going to worry about it being 100% straight here. So this is what I'm going to do for each one. I'm just going to work my way down. Oh yeah, look at that. That fits very, very nicely. Very good, very good. Okay, so now, since we have this one done, we're going to go to the next one. And I'm not going to undo my um, string here. I'm going to leave it. So here, I'm just going to do this one, next one right here. So I'm going to put my L. Don't poke yourself with the safety pin like I just did. All right, so now I'm just going to work kind of through the bottom here until I get to where I need. Okay, and then when I get to where I need, I'm just going to start doing like I was doing earlier, in and out. All right, there we go. Let's make sure this one's good. So that one's good there. So then let's move on to the next one. So we're going to just continue doing this, repeating it over and over, all the way down until we get to the end. Alright guys, so just repeat this process over and over again until you get as many sections as what you're wanting or needing. And then after we're done with that, I will see you back here. Okay, so I have all of them sewn up and look, oh my gosh, they fit perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew a couple little buttons on here. I think I'm going to do the fourth one, so this one and this one. So I'm going to fold it over and see where my double crochets end up. And so they end up 
about this row right here, so that second row down. So this row right about here, it looks like it's where they're ending up. Let me make sure one more time. Yeah, right about there. So I'm just going to sew my buttons on now in the fourth one. And I just um, have a nice little collection of buttons that I keep, so. So I'm just gonna start sewing these on. Alright, I'm just going to go through here a few times. I might actually glue these down too, just FYI. So there's one done. So we have one more to go. See if I like the placement of it. Yeah, I do. That's cute. It's a little bit big, the button ends, but it'll work through. Oh, yeah. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's take it out now. Do the last one here. Alright, now that is done, guys. Again, you might want to put a little glue on that, just a little bit maybe. Alright, so let's see here. We have them both together like this. Oh, it's so cute, guys. What do you think? I love it. So the only thing I really have left to do now is those work those two ends in. So um, let me go ahead and do that really quick. Let me pull this one out, this one out. I've got these two ends that are sticking out here. So All right, guys, we are done with our cute little pouch. I am just so incredibly excited how this came out. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Um, and I hope you enjoy making something like this with me, guys. So um, enjoy the pouch. Oh, look, my thing stuck out. There we go. Need to put that back in there, don't I? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed making this really cute little pouch as much as I did. Have fun making it, everybody, and I will see you next time. Happy hooking, everyone.